Hey fam, just a quick video on a problem I face with memory on a ASUS Gaming Tough X570 Wi-Fi motherboard, which was my first board, but I changed now to an MSI X570 Unified board. So I purchased a 4000 megahertz RAM kit and thought it would work straight out of the box in XMP on the ASUS board. On their side, they claim that it can run all the way up to 4,600 megahertz, but I digress. I tried the memory sticks and only got a boot loop and go straight back to default when XMP was enabled. The board only, in my experience, the board only runs up to 3,000 megahertz and nothing more. That is in XMP. I tried everything like BIOS update, etc but nothing seemed to work and nothing seemed to fix the issue but wait i'm a very smart man i must say so i think what if i did this what would become the outcome so let me turn to my pc right now and show you what i did to solve this problem so come on please bear with me with the not so good screen capture but i think it's good enough to see and you can let me know in the comments if you can see that is so here in the asus armory crate at the top of the dashboard we can see that dram is 32 gigabytes and speed is at 4000 megahertz and i have the latest bios if i scroll down to the bottom in the sub menu we can also see both rams are running at 4000 megahertz now let us restart and go into the bios to see how i got those results. If you look at the DRAM status, if you look at the DRAM status, we can see it says both RAM is running at 2133 megahertz, which is incorrect. We can also see DOCP is set and do take a look at the XMP voltage which is 1.4 volt because we'll get back to that in a minute now let us go in advance and ai tweaker we can see the xmp is set right and memory is 4000 megahertz now let's scroll down to the dram voltage and see here i have to increase the xmp voltage from 1.4 volt to 1.48 volt for the 4000 megahertz memory to boot and work stable. So my conclusion is because this board is an eight pin and four pin CPU power is limited and it's not strong as the boards that have the two eight pin CPU power adapters because those boards can handle XMP straight out of the box with no sweat. So anybody who is facing problems with something similar to this, you can try my solution and see if it works for you. And I hope it helps. And that's it. Do have yourself a great moment filled with inspiring thoughts and inspiring goals. We are never stay. Overreact and just walk away. Take me back to the place I